Let's take a look at drawing that thing we just did on the Jamboard using AutoCAD and see how these uh, tools might look. And so I'm going to see if I can bring my command line up a little bit closer to it so that you can watch the command line to see if I'm typing in pretty close to what it said. So you can see the, the command line up here now. And uh, you can sort of see what I'm able to draw. So let's go ahead and draw some of these. First, I'm going to draw a north line. And I'm going to make it 20 long just for fun. That's a little bit. There we go. Make that a little bit bigger so that we can see it. There we go. I'll zoom in and out on those in a minute. And uh, then I'm going to draw an east-west line, east of 10, west of 10. So now I've got now I've got some lines that I can work with. Okay, and I'm going to start right here in the center. So this first one is 10 long, and then I go north 30 degrees. So let me let me just. Make sure that my units are set. Decimal, I'm going to call those decimal feet. That's what I would do. And I could do different layers and things like that. Uh, I probably should. I should probably have. I could go to my design center, but I'm just going to put it in here. I'm going to call it C prop civil property line. And I know that that thing needs to be Phantom 2 is what I called out for you to use. So if you don't already have one made, that's how you do it. Then I click on it so it selects it. And then it's, I, I think I probably said to make it 0.028. These are not super important to what I'm doing right now, but it'll be nice to see. All right, so I'm going to start at my center point, draw a line starting from my center point. And then I'm going to type from where I'm at, because remember I said if your dynamic is off, you do it this way. So from where I'm at, I'm going to make it 10 long. You see up on my command line where I'm writing here, watch that, 10. At an angle, it's just it's right above the comma at an angle. And then I said I'm going to start going to the north. And then I'm going to turn 30D for 30 degrees to the east. And there we go. Look at that. Oh, but I'm not on the correct layer. Let me go to my correct layer, C prop. Okay, and that's what that would be. And if I were to take this angle here and look at it, I'd have it. Now, Let's see how it looks over here. Yeah, there it is. And I can take an angular dimension if I feel like it. 30 degrees. What do you know? North, 30 degrees to the east. If I want to put some symbols in here, I can say DT right here and make sure that that says north. That says south, says east, and over here this says west. There. And if I were to take this distance, let's see. It's called an, uh, an aligned one. I could take a distance from here. Oh, I don't know what I've got there. I thought I typed in 10. I'll go back and check and see what I did there. Oh, it's because I went too far. I didn't take my actual line. I took, I need to go to the end of my line. There we go. Not to my the end of my dimension. So that's 10 long, north, 30 degrees to the east. And look, I didn't mess it up over here. So let me do my next one. Uh, my next one is going to be the same starting point and so then I go from where I'm at 15 at an angle 
start facing north, then go 30 degrees to the west. And again, I have it on the wrong layer. Hopefully you guys aren't as messy as I am on that. I'm going to do something. I'm going to change its color. I don't normally do this, but I, I just want to be able to see them as different colors sort of to match what I did over here for now. And then uh, I'll come down to this one over here. That one's going to be on my C prop layer from this middle point. From where I'm at, a length of 5 at an angle of 45 degrees. Oop. Start facing south and then go 45 degrees to the east. And that was my green one. Kind of maybe that color green. And then I had my blue one, which was from where I am at 15 at an angle. Again, start going south and then turn 85 degrees to the west. There we go. And that will be my blue one. Now, you don't have to change all these colors. I'm doing that just to demonstrate for you so that you can sort of see what I just drew. And then if I go to my layout, you can see I have to move that a little bit to get everything to show. I could go in and do all of my stuff, but this, this sort of shows. So notice, I put my annotations in paper space. And this is in model space so that my, my property is clear. All right, so hopefully that gives you some help on how to draw doing surveyor's units. So there's one other thing that you should know on your units. If you want your properties to also talk to you in units, you can change your angle to surveyor's units. And we're going to be mostly using degrees and minutes. A minute is one sixtieth of a degree. So if I draw two lines that are one degree apart, from where I'm at, I'm going to make it uh, 30 long at an angle north, 89 east. Those are one degree apart. And you know, in many cases, that's not too bad. That's not a big distance in many cases. But you can imagine, as I go longer and longer and longer, it seems like how far they are off from each other distance-wise grows. Back here, they're barely off of each other. And out here, they're getting a long way off. So you can imagine if I was doing a road or a bridge or something that was two or three hundred feet long, even a property that's um, maybe, you know, a hundred feet long, I can be off by a lot if I'm off by a degree. So we cut this into 60 parts and each one of those is a minute. And you can imagine, let's draw a line. Um, perpendicular. And I'm going to do that divide command on it. Divide this into 60 parts. And then if I look at some nodes, let me make sure I've got nodes turned on. Just to show you how close together these are. I'm going to draw from here. There, There's a node. And there, that's one sixtieth, I think. Let's make sure there's not another one in there. Yeah. So that separated it into 60 different parts. OK, 
Okay, so, and you can see, wow, what a difference. You know, the farther and farther, now you can see that I'm not nearly so far apart. So, after minutes comes, you guess, seconds, so that if I were to take this, and chop that into 60 parts. And find a node. I don't think I got that one straight. I was not very careful with that one I want to be careful there's my first node there's my next node that's one second apart look at the difference right surveyors regularly do decimal portions of a second if they're trying to be very, very precise and legal with their survey. Architects and land planners that are just laying out a building on a lot usually get down to this level, which are minutes. And if you're just kind of like, oh, I just need to be, I just need to get this drawing done, you can be up here in degrees. All right, so that's a little bit about Surveyor's units.